it is Manchester United 2, Tottenham Cockstars 2, Manchester United dropping two points after leading twice, twice against Tottenham. But Tottenham did what they had to do. They found ways to come back against us. And with us, you can always come back because Manchester United's defence and football is a trash majority of the time, guys. Let's be real. You let's be real. But United, we needed three points. United unable to deliver three points to the Manchester United fan. We had Sir Richard Ratcliffe in the stands. Should we say it's a bit bad luck now that he's the might be the omen that we might not get a win at Old Trafford? But we had him in the stand. Can you not impress him? Can you not do something for us? Impress the new owners. Show them that you want to stay here. Show them that you want to be a part of the future. But they didn't. All they did is make him convinced and say, yep, I'm getting rid of you, man. A lot of you guys are going. Definitely so. You guys will be going, but United against Spurs, where we look like at times during the game, the away team. And it hurts, guys. It hurts to see us as the away team at times. Unable to keep the ball, giving the ball away, losing the midfield battle once again, Manchester United. Nothing doesn't change, you know. That's just the way it is, you know, I say. Nothing's going to change these days, you know. Things will never always be the same. Never be the same. It was true. Again, let's go back to the game. If you look at it overall, if you look at the first 45 minutes where Manchester United started off extremely well with Rasmus Hoyland as well, rifling a goal straight in the top bins as well for uh, for the goalkeeper to be able to do nothing about it as well, sorting it out as well. When Marcus Rashford made these mistakes, he got the ball, sort his feet out. Hoyland making it 1-0 to Manchester United after the Thunderbolt strike. But yeah, you think Manchester United, you're starting off so well. But United do what they do. Let us down defensively. A goal coming from Rich Harlison, Cisco's little twin, a.k.a. his brother. I don't know what you want to say with his silver gold hairstyle. I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know what colour it is at times, bro. But he equalised from a set piece, headering it in to make it 1-1 one, one, for Tottenham Cox Spurs, Rich Harlison, man, I'm tired, you know. And the guy's got six goals in six. And then Manchester United making it 2 1 towards the end, leading at half time. And guess where it was? Marcus Trashford himself, you know, ball coming from Hoyland as well. A lovely ball. Um, Rashford getting that deflection. I think it was Bentacol, the ball ricocheting off of him. And then Rashford finishing it off. Making it 2-1 for Manchester at half-time. And you're thinking, come on, United, keep it calm. Ensure we go into that second half and make it 3-1. United do the complete opposite, guys, and make it 2-2. Concede a goal from Tottenham Hotspur. And it was so early. And I'm tired of us conceding early goals, not doing well. Bentacore equalising and taking a shot. Onana unable to do anything. No, Nana is a fraud. He's a fraud. He shouldn't be here. You're supposed to be in Cameroon, bro. I mean, in Ivory Coast, playing for Cameroon in the next coming days. Oh, my God. The guy got bent to the core, bruv. Oh, no, no. You got bent to the core by bent to core because you was an absolute flip-flop dimwit. I'm tired of him. Making it 2-2 Tottenham. Bent to core. This team... Ended up drawing because we was toothless afterwards. It was nice to see Martinez back. It's really nice to see him back. We didn't get to see Casemiro. I just don't know why. But McTominay had to come on. What did he do? Nothing. You should have brought Casemiro on because if he had the opportunity to get that header, he would have scored. I believe so. Sometimes the manager, I just don't know what's his problem. Like, he should have brought Casemiro on. I don't know why he didn't. Timo Werner looked like the usual player that he usually is, bro. He's seen no Werner, bro. See no Werner. Anyway, when it comes to players today, Marcus Rashford had a bang average game apart from getting the goal. Yes, he at time he was looking dangerous, but his decision making cost him. And I'm, I'm I'm tired of saying this. Bruno Fernandez with a lovely ball to Rashford to give it to Hoyland to score that goal, the first goal. But apart from that. Bruno was giving the ball away as usual. What do I expect from Bruno Fernandez? Andre Nana in the bin. Seriously, in the bin. I'm tired of him. The mistakes, looking like he's a floppy fish, looking like he's an absolute clown at times. 
What a joker in goal, man. No, he concedes goals and it looks so easy. Coyland, after he scored a goal, I saw nothing from him. Nothing. Nothing. I'm telling you guys, nothing from that guy. But still, guys, hopefully he can improve and get goals. I remember Saka playing in a different position, which I've never seen before, playing on the opposite side. I think he has done that. Yeah, he has. But he did well. He did well. But then we had Martinez coming on. It's good to see him back, man. It's good to see him, but Lissandro Martinez back. I'm in I'm I'm in Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. But it is what it is. Manchester United drop him two points towards the end of the game. Could have won it. Could have made it 3 2, but it didn't. It is what it is. Point Taking a point, which we should have gotten our three points, but it is what it is, guys. It, I don't know what you have to say. Man United fans, man in the match today. Hats to go down to... Huh, it's just a tough one. It's a really tough one to say who would be your man in the match. I I, I don't have a man in the match. Because there was not one player that was particularly outstanding apart from Diego Dallo. So I think I'll give it to Diego Dallo. Donkey of the match today. I'm going to give it to Andre Onana. I've, I've had enough of him. I know it's too easy to pick him because he... He just looks like a dimwit in the goal, in between the sticks. He just looks like a dimwit. But yes, guys, big up to you guys. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments as well. This has been your um, watch, um your match reaction from your boy Ivory Spice. Let me know what your thoughts of the match in the comments as well, and your mind of the match and your donkey of the match. Till next time, which hopefully is tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time. Peace. I'm out. I'm out. Subscribe and smash that like button.